Hello there everyone and it's Ibrahim here with another Photoshop tutorial on photo effects. Today I'm going to show you how to edit this image here as you can see open up my bridge. I'm going to drag this into Photoshop. Okay once you have that you can see the image clearly here and we're going to change the sign of this board here. So let's get started on that. Okay I'm going to duplicate this layer so control J to duplicate that and the first thing we we'll need to do is remove this text here which is already written so let's try them in a couple of ways we we'll try in soft spot healing brush so that's like that I'm going to just increase the brush here and it should definitely is soft in hardness and just brush in right above this text and see what we have and it's not really helping let's try in the whole thing here Oh, that's really bad okay let's use the patch tool and select destination and I'm just going to select in the word end for test and just use uh, we done the wrong way let's select source and drag that yeah it kind of fits is it nicely let's select in half of this text since we don't have a lot of wall here on top and I'm going to select that much there we go and let's do the other part and release okay we are getting most of it cleared let's do in these portions separately I'm just going to select and drag so selecting your area drag and release select area drag release make sure you don't take the same places so that they don't look really very much cloned on these areas you can see here just take them in a random place so that no one would really know you made up copies there okay once you have that done I'm going to just lower the opacity here of this layer which we just modified so that I can see the back side of that and I'm going to switch to my type tool and type in with a nice times font there okay I'm going to type in dangerous spark for this and I'm going to increase the size a bit and not that much let's lower this a bit more oops and to down there let's raise that a bit more okay I'm going to take bold as the so I'm going to get two spaces at this point here I'm going to drag this right on the board here okay first thing of all I'm going to take in some colors of our original frame which you can see here I just wanted to see the back of the text here let's fill that up to 100% so that we have no disturbances with this layer selected I'm going to double click on to open up the blending options and I'm going to select color, color gradient overlay choose our color so double click and select the color of the actual image here so we have something similar okay and doesn't really look similar to me so I'm going to switch I will just hide in that layer there and I'm going to take in the same colors here let's actually zoom in so we have our color seen properly ok switch back to my gradient and I'm going to take in the color that I require ok I think we've got most of it zoom back I'm going to adjust this text right here and if you see that the text place right here isn't exactly the same way it kind of is tilted on through the stone there at the background so let's modify that so control T to transform just going to size this up a bit more there we go okay and I'm going to just adjust this right on this side here and I'm going to select in skew we don't have that option available so let's turn this to a smart object so control J to duplicate that so I have no effect on my original one I'm going to filter convert to small objects and right click I mean transform it select perspective and it's not perspective that's not working let's try and skew I'm going to just skew this right down here and we don't want it to be a lot so make sure you don't do that a lot I'm going to try and distort just to make it look like it's written on that stone there 
just a bit okay once you're happy with that click on the checkbox to apply that let's pull this a bit and i'm going to bring back our image here now what i'm going to do is add a nice outer line effect for this text you can see what we have here i'm going to switch back to my blending options of the same layer stroke let it be one pixel i'm going to take in the same kind of color here and modify that a bit just a bit darker color than the original and control one to zoom back okay once you have that let's add a simple texture inside this text here so that it kind of looks its original written on the stone you could even change a blend mode to any of the options here soft light or something like that but we're not going to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to control click on my text to have that selection i'm going to switch to my image here and press on control j so what it did is it took the stone of that text there you can see and I'm going to bring this layer right above our text effect there and I'm lowering the opacity a bit but not much just a bit and turn that blending mode to overlay or soft light which will look perfect and I'll just lower that a bit just kind of a simple one there we go a nice simple text swapping effect on an image we're going to add a simple shadow there for it not to look really weird let's move this a bit on the side there and let's lower this opacity let's reduce that size to two that to one just a slight shadow there okay there we go i hope you learned something from this tutorial and it's a simple and easy way you can see here before and after no one really didn't know what was actually written there thank you for watching and do visit my other video tutorials and my youtube channel on my website see you later and see you in the next video